An ice shelf is an area of floating glacial ice where the glaciers in Antarctica flow downhill um, and eventually start uh, floating on the ocean where they're melted from the ocean beneath and the atmosphere above. Larsen Sea Ice Shelf is on the Antarctic Peninsula and it's about two and a half times the size of Wales. And the reason we're interested in it is that it sits just south of Larsen A Ice Shelf which collapsed in 1995 and Larsen B Ice Shelf uh, which collapsed in 2002. For the last 10 years we've known that Larsen C was getting lower in the water but we haven't known why this is. We used 15 years of radar data to look at the um, changes in this ice shelf. We found that the ice shelf was losing ice and this is probably due to ocean melting from below. And we also found the ice shelf is losing air from its snow um, and this is probably due to atmospheric warming. So what we know now is that the ice shelf is subject to a, a two-pronged attack from above and below. The ice in an ice shelf is floating so when it melts it won't have a big impact on sea level rise. The impact on sea level rise comes as the glaciers that feed the ice sheet no longer feel the resistance from the ice shelf there. And so they flow more rapidly and put more ice into the ocean and that causes sea level rise. We know that after Larsen A and Larsen B, a fairly large fraction of the total Antarctic contribution to sea level rise comes from those glaciers that once fed those ice shelves. Larsen C is bigger and so the impact of losing Larsen C would be a significant extra contribution to sea level rise above the thermal expansion of the oceans and above the extra co the contribution from the larger part of Antarctica down in the West Antarctic Ice Sheet. When Larsen A and Larsen B were lost, the glaciers behind them accelerated, and they are now contributing a significant fraction of the sea level rise that's emerging from the whole of Antarctica. Larsen C is bigger, and if it were to be lost in the next few decades, then it would actually add to the projections of sea level rise uh, and the rate of sea level rise by 2100. We expect that sea level rise around the world will be something in excess of 50 centimetres higher by 2100 than it is at present. And that will cause problems for coastal cities and low-lying cities. Understanding and counting up, adding up all of these small contributions from Larsen C and all of the glaciers around the world is very important if we're to project with confidence the rate of sea level rise into the future.